In this episode, we're gonna take a look at blocking people who sign up with disposable email accounts. Um, I saw Mark tweet this the other day. Um, basically, he has written a Rails validator to block disposable email accounts. And there's an open source list available of all of these accounts. So um, it's quite a smart approach. And I think I've dealt with a lot of bots and spammers and stuff with my last startup pay here. So um, I think I might end up doing a little mini series on how to fight bots or spammers from signing up to your app. So the first thing we're going to do is write a rake task to basically grab a fresh copy of this file. And then we can run that rake task um, automatically or just run it manually every month or uh, every so often to grab the latest list of this. So if we look at Mark's tweet, um, he has a rake task here that just opens this using the HTTP gem and just writes a file uh, with the content of that. So we're going to take a similar approach. So I'm just gonna create a rake task called disposable email dot rake. And then we'll make a namespace for disposable email. And we will create a task called download. And that task is going to require the Rails environment. And we'll just write a description here saying downloads the latest list of disposable emails. And then we can go and grab the URL here. And let's just check the gem file here for the HTTP gem. And I don't think I'm using that in this project yet. Oh, no, we are. So that's fine. So then we can run HTTP.get with the URL call to string on that. And we'll just print out the result. So then if I run bin reels disposable email download, and you'll see it prints out all of that data. So the next thing that we want to do is we'll just say data and then we want to write a file. So we'll create our path and we'll say path equals, and we'll say it's data slash disposable email domains dot text. And we'll do reels dot root dot join there just to turn that into a full fledged path. Then we can say file dot open at the path, make it writable. And we can say do F or do file. And then we can say file.write and write the data to that file and hit save. And now if we go and run that and go to our data, we get disposable email domains.txt and that has all of the data included. So the next thing we can do then is create a model for this. So we can go to, or we can create a service actually. So we can go in here and say, disposable email service dot rv and we can make that a module so we can say disposable email service we can use the module function helper here and we can say disposable and put a domain in or put an email in actually and so then what we need is the list of disposable domains. So we could say dispose disposable email domains. And in that we can load up the list. So we can say file.read reels.root.join data disposable email domains dot text and we can memoize this so we can basically load that into an instance variable and use this operator so that 
if it's already been read, it's not going to be read again. So we can hit save. And we'll just change this to file.read lines so it splits it out as an array. And then we'll run map and pass the strip function to it. So it'll remove any white space from the end of any of those lines. And if we just pull up a console, we'll run email service disposable email domains and this should be a pretty massive array and it is so that's fine and the second time we run that it's just gonna pull the array from in memory rather than reading the file again which is good and we can exit out of that now so now I want to add some tests and we'll just uh, create a file here so we'll say require Reels helper, and we'll just run our spec dot describe with our disposable email service, and then we will create a describe method that describes the disposable, and we can go in here and say uh, it returns true when the email domain is disposable and it returns false when the email domain is not disposable. And so we'll move that false one to the top because that's really what we want in terms of the happy path. So we'll then call subject, or sorry, described class dot disposable and We'll put in an email of hi at rapidruby.com and expect that to be false and then run that test and currently get nil back so what we want to do here is get the domain and so we can go in and parse this using the mail gem and so we'll go in here We'll take email address and we'll call down case on it. And then we can say if email. So if email is not present, we we'll want to return false. If it has an error parsing the email address. And if the email does parse, then we want to say disposable email domains dot include email dot domain. And now if we rerun that spec, that now passes. And we want to just open up this list here, grab one of these domains and go in and write our feeling spec. So it returns true when the email is disposable. So we can say info at zzzxxx.com and we'll just go here, change the email address over. And then we'll expect that to be true. So if we rerun and run both tests, both should now be passing and they are. So that gives us our disposable email service that we can then use. Um, next step really is creating a validator in Rails. So we want to create a validator where we have a disposable email validator Darby. We'll copy the code from this email one and just change it over and rename it. So disposable email validator. We can get rid of the red checks and we can then check the attribute. So we can check our disposable email service dot disposable and then we can pass in the value. And so we can say if it's disposable we want to add the error and we want to say is a disposable email address and is banned. And we'll hit save on that. So we've got disposable email validator. Then we want to go to our user model and we can add this as a validation. But first, let's get a spec for this. So if we go to our spec, Go to features and registration spec. 
we get Adelaide signing up. So we can copy this and say it blocks signups from disposable email domains. And so we can fill all this info in and we can just change this to zzz-xxx.com and this should then have that error message in. So if we go to our validator, we can copy this message and we can expect the page has that content. So if we hit save, rerun this, it should first fail because we haven't set up the validation. But if we then go to our user and where we have our email validation, we can then put disposable email true in here and then rerun this spec. And that now passes. So if we run both of these, we can test that signups work and the disposable one fails and both of those pass. So finally, we can just go to our signup form and just test this out in person. So we can say Pete test email is Pete at zzzxxx.com password. I'll just give myself a password. We'll take this, take the catcher. And um, what have we got? All the images containing an animal. And hit sign up. And then we get three hours with this form. So my password was too short, which is fine. But importantly, we get email is a disposable email address and is banned. So that is how we block people with disposable emails from signing up. And hopefully that will get rid of um, a decent portion of spammers and bots from signing up to your app.